I'm going to show you how you can animate textures on objects that you can use for things like hand-drawn faces. You can download the project files with all the images and assets that I've used in this project. The link is in the description. So what you're going to need is you're going to need your head. You're also going to need to unwrap the area which you're going to use as your face. Next, create a plane, rotate it on the x-axis and scale it by 0.5. Grab this plane and move it on the x-axis and apply the scale. We're going to have to cut this plane up into eight columns. I've made a grid image texture to make this easy for you. Use the Ctrl R loop cut to make seven cuts. These should match the lines in the grid. Do the same for the vertical axis. Next, you want to dissolve the edges that are around the borders of the squares. This will leave you the vertex in the middle of each square. Select the first square in the grid and case it is selected. Come into object mode, shift add and add a single bone. In edit mode, scale this bone down so it's easy to work with. We'll call this bone origin. Shift D to duplicate that and call the duplicated bone face. We'll call the armature face controller and in object mode, we'll parent this to the plane. Now let's go into pose mode, select the origin bone and in the relations tab, just move that to a different layer. Next, select the face bone and select custom object. I've created this custom object, which you can also use should you wish. And we don't need the grid anymore, so we can change this to the expressions. The next thing we need to do is add a UV warp modifier. Select the UV layer and the object from base controller. Bone from is the face. The same with the two base controller. Bone two is the origin. With the head, create a texture that uses that same face's image. Use your UV mapping and plug that in to the color. In the head material, link up the faces just like you did in the plane, again using the UV mapping. What you'll need to do is make sure that UV unwrapping is positioned over the top left image. Now when you grab the bone in pose mode, you can move it and the face will change. Yay! To animate the face, now all you need to do is change to vertex snapping and move the bone to whichever face you want. It'll happily snap into place and just position your keyframes wherever you need them. What you'll see is the face sliding all over the place and we don't want that. So in your dope sheet, press T and then change to constant. And now the faces will snap. If you found this useful, hit that like button. And if you'd like to learn how to animate all of these mouth shapes to an audio file, hit that subscribe button. That's another video that's coming up.